Hello people that and how's it doing? So just want to talk about Sack and I talked about this before but Simon Coveney and his threaty two hundred two hundred thousand um you know cow and state cow and gala driver. Um he didn't you know, he didn't go to the door to say, you know, I bought this, I'm gonna get this because I'm entitled to this and I'm entitled to that. I have a big sum I have about a million euro, three million euro even in the bank from Europe and here and there and everywhere and for backroom deals. But no, he did he didn't go through government. He didn't go through the door to say, you know, I want this, I'm entitled to this X, Y, and Z. He said, oh, I'm just going to take it, I just want it, I'm going to keep it. Too bad the taxpayer has to pay 30000 and uh, 200000 sorry. It's a lot of money, like he thinks it's nothing, he makes it out of nothing. But if he had to pay for it, it would be something. Um, only for we are paying it, he, we are paying it. Um, it's the taxpayer who he's taking the money off. If he could, he, like, he's well, like if, I was, if I was in his situation, I'd take it out of my own pocket. Um, which would be rightfully so if you pay, you know, he gets a lot of money a week. He gets up for two thousand a week. Um, you know, it's you. Know, he should be expected to pay for it himself. But he gets more than many people. Ninety six thousand for an only TD, and he's a minister. Um, you know, he gets more than any other nitty people on the minimum wage and everything. People on the door and things like that couldn't afford something like that. Um, and he doesn't realize that. And Leo Farco jumped in to save his comrade. Um. And he said, you know, we can keep the cow, the toilet just said, you can keep the cow, you know, take, not even asking the public what they take. And obviously the public would be an uproar. Um, and I would like to ask Leo Varadkar and Simon Coveney this. There's a project in West Carvin. They were looking for a few benches, a few benches. Um, going to cost about 500 euro, a few, you know, bits of stones to do up a little park um, in their local town. Um, because, you know, obviously they were looking for fun for years. And now they were said... You know, we look at the put this year before the coronavirus in January. They put in a, a form saying, you know, they wanted this, and it's going to cost about five hundred euro. Right, fair enough. You know, local development, local community development, um, the one of the few swings for children and everything like that. Fair enough, five hundred euro for the whole lot, um, and the government said, you know, we we don't have the money, we don't have the funds, we can't afford it, um. So yeah, that's two hundred thousand, could have went to better. They could go to better use. Let's be honest. Like that community development, it's not going to break the country. Five hundred euro. T Sh members of the Shannon claim three point two million, um, on expenses during lockdown, and I don't know where the hell the travel expenses. I don't know where they were going to, but anyway, um, that's Ireland for you. They just claim for everything under the sun, um. So you can see my point too, because you know it's not fair. It's not fair. The only people who pay their taxes want a little park in their area with a few benches and a swing. And they said, no, the government were like, no, you're not entitled to it. The people who sit in Dal Air and, and don't do anything, you know, really just talk bladder. <laughs> I might as well say it straight. They talk bladder. Empty promises after empty promises after empty promises. And they, the only thing they promise is bigger wages for themselves. It's true. And they get everything under the sun. Um, it's not fair. It's just really, really not fair. And that community project should be funded. Simple as that. should be funded. It's a small, it's not that much. At the end of the day, it's 500 euro, you know, them people in the town pays it. They pay their taxes. You know, it could come out of there, you know, and it would be something for the community. It's not, nobody's going to benefit out of Simon Company having a cow, um, having a state cow and a cow to drive, but nobody's going to benefit. He's not, the only person who's going to benefit is himself. And his bank balance is only going to benefit him. It's not going to benefit the taxpayer. Um, all the local people in the area, it's not going to benefit anybody because they don't. Nobody wants to see him. I don't think. Um, he didn't get into the night. I think it was the night or eight count. He didn't get into. Um, so I don't know really what he's talking. No, really, what's because he has no mandate from the people really to say. Oh, you know, you're entitled to this. You're entitled to that. Because everybody I heard didn't say. Oh, Simon Coveney has done hard work. Everybody's like, you know, we shouldn't be allowed this, and that's true. And we'll take a fortune, man. Bye.